Academy Award-winning director Oliver Stone has evolved from a respected screenwriter to become one of the most honoured and controversial filmmakers working in Hollywood. This intricate storyteller doesn't hesitate to tackle the difficult subjects in a manner that other directors see as taboo, and this often leads to box office success. Let me tell you about heartache and the loss of God. Wandering, wandering. He tackled the subject of rock legend Jim Morrison in his 1991 film, The Doors. When The Doors, led by iconoclastic Morrison, burst onto the music scene in 1965, they soon became symbolic of the decade. Oliver's film, starring Val Kilmer as Morrison, depicted not only the infamous LA band, but also the era. On its scales, all people, all actions, were all just little pictures on a scale. His historical epic, Alexander, was based on the complex and heroic Alexander the Great, who led his army through many sieges and conquests. But it appeared Oliver couldn't conquer the box office or the critics. What stands Oliver apart from his contemporaries is that he doesn't shirk away from the more controversial subjects. With his critical stance on the US government to the Vietnam War, this director leaves no topic uncovered. In his political documentary, Commandant, the Oscar-winning director taped 30 hours of conversations with Cuban leader Fidel Castro, ranging from the 1962 Cuban Missile Crisis to his relationship with revolutionary Che Guevara. The documentary was deemed too controversial and has not been released in the United States. Oliver released World Trade Center in 2006, five years after the terrorist attacks on the World Trade Center Twin Towers in New York City. It was the first motion picture to deal with the attacks and the heroic efforts of rescue workers. While there was some outrage, with many believing it was too soon, it was released to favorable reviews. He likes to explore the lives of people no longer able to tell their own stories. He helped cement the Jim Morrison legend with his film biography, creating a whole new generation of fans after the singer's death. After his own experiences in Vietnam, in which he was twice wounded in action, he felt that the people that lost their lives in the World Trade Center attacks deserved to have their stories told. It seems like a Vietnam War, Watergate, uh, Iraq, all these things get built up, 9-11 into mythologies. This is about what it was like at ground zero, you know? This is a guy that's fighting in the bush based on my personal experiences. So it wasn't, uh, they weren't political in the bush. I mean, it was just every day survive. He has made three films about Vietnam, Platoon, Born on the Fourth of July, and Heaven and Earth, with Platoon loosely based on Oliver's personal experiences as an army combat fighter. 20 years on, the Oscar-winning film still resonated with people, and it was re-released in 2006 at the Cannes Film Festival. Any given Sunday about the power struggles within an American football team saw him tell the story through the on-field action. Similar to Platoon in both the way the public received it and the way it dealt with a controversial issue, World Trade Center was named Best Film at the 2006 Hollywood Awards. The film is based on a human drama and portrays the lives of ordinary people that got up that day to go against the fear and find the courage to help each other. No matter the content, Oliver Stone's intelligence and ability as a storyteller constantly challenges audiences. Like no other filmmaker, he has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema with his thought-provoking films and public opinions.